it's me Blanche and welcome back to Feast in the Middle East and I'm really excited to share a Syrian dip with you called Muhammara. Now the word Muhammara is an Arabic word. It could be mean Muhammad which means to actually brown something, in this case uh, browning red bell pepper which is a key ingredient in this dip. And the word hamra means red in Arabic and this dip is most definitely red. And it's really a great way for me to pay tribute to the people of Syria who have such a rich culture and they have their own uh, food history. And this is big in Aleppo because they use Aleppo peppers. And if you do have access to Aleppo peppers, definitely feel free to use this in this dip. I love it because you just put everything in the food processor and you're done. So let's start with the ingredients. What we have here is a one cup of raw walnuts. I have a half a cup of breadcrumbs, any kind of breadcrumbs that you wish. It could be gluten-free breadcrumbs too if you want. I have two cloves of minced garlic, then one teaspoon of paprika, one third cup of olive oil, one tablespoon of tomato paste, just one tablespoon of fresh lemon juice, one half teaspoon to one teaspoon of cumin, it depends on your preference. And this is a trick that, a modern day trick that I use. Um, I get these red bell peppers that have already been uh, roasted and put in a jar just like this and I dry them off with paper towels. And I find that they work great in this dip. Now if you want to do it the traditional way, what you have to do is get uh, one or two large red bell peppers, brush them with oil, uh, broil them um, for about 10 minutes and then peel them and then you can use them. But this is really my shortcut and I love shortcuts. So I'm going to add the red bell pepper right here first and add the oil. I'm going to add the walnuts which are really high in omega-3s which is awesome. And I have the tablespoon of tomato paste right here. Just a little bit of lemon juice, that's one tablespoon. I'm using one teaspoon of cumin because I love cumin in this. And then the two minced cloves of garlic, fresh garlic. And again, the teaspoon of paprika. You could use smoked paprika. And you can make this spicy by adding hot red peppers. And here's the breadcrumbs. Now here's a secret ingredient that I haven't revealed yet. It is pomegranate molasses. I love pomegranate molasses and I use it quite a bit. And in this dip, you only need one tablespoon. So it's basically kind of like pomegranate juice that's been cooked down until it's nice and thick like a syrup, just like this. You see that? So I use like one tablespoon of this stuff. And it's really reasonably priced. I mean, this one was like five bucks for this whole thing. And you can usually find them in Middle Eastern supermarkets. And I'm going to add about one half teaspoon of salt. You could add more or less according to your preference. And you want to blend this till it's the consistency of chunky peanut butter. You, want it, you don't want it too smooth. You want to feel the crunch of the walnuts as you eat it. So we'll start pulsing it. And let's just let it go. Let me check on it. What I love about this dip is that it's great as a sandwich spread, it's great over chicken. There, it's very versatile. You could use it many different ways, so you don't just have to eat it as a dip. And always test your dips before taking them out of the food processor because if you need to add anything, you could always do it right then and there. You don't have to wait till the last minute. So I'm just gonna take... Mmm, it's perfect. What I'm going to do is add it in here. This dip brings such great memories to me. I remember when I was going to college, I had a Syrian friend named Samar and uh, we used to study after school and her mom used to give us this dip to eat while we were studying and I absolutely fell in love with it. And I didn't realize all the nutritional benefits from the antioxidants and the pomegranate to the omega-3s and the walnuts. I mean, it has so many nutritional ben benefits and it tastes sublime take a little bit here. Mm. Let me describe this dip to you. It's um, sweet, savory, crunchy. It's kind of got a firecracker flavor to it, especially if you add that cayenne pepper. You'll love it even that much more. Um, but trust me, just try this dip. This is such a great replacement for um, hummus because hummus can get old. I mean, 
People have hummus all the time these days and it's all over the place, but you can wow your guests with something new like this and I'm sure they'll fall in love with it. Now to get more insanely delicious recipes like this, please subscribe to my channel right here. Uh, you could also check me out on uh, Instagram at Blanche Media. Also on Facebook at Blanche's Feast in the Middle East where I share recipes on a regular basis. So tell me what you think. This is something really new and it's Syrian and it's got a lot of history behind it. And I would love to know what you thought of this particular recipe. Until next time, sahtin.